He got it. He got it. Got him. Oh yeah. Got him. Oh yeah. Woo! Today, guys, I'm heading offshore to do some deep sea fishing. The weather is a lot calmer today, and it's a great day to be out on the water. I'm going to be hitting up three spots today that all hold a different variety of uh, fish species, such as hogfish, mangrove snapper, uh, yellowtail, uh, triggerfish, red grouper, and much, much more. I have plenty of bait, and I have plenty of tackle to get the job done. So if you guys are ready for some rod bending action and a lot of fun, then stay tuned because I'm about to get hooked on to a lot of hungry fish. And that is for real. But before I head out, I'd like to say to those of you who are new to the channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. I hope you find value in this channel and helping you improve your fishing knowledge. Make sure you click on that subscribe button below. Be sure to click that bell and make sure your notifications are turned on so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content. Well, what do you say? Y'all ready to do this? And let's go. All right, guys, I'm at my first spot. As you can see, there is a lot of motion in the ocean right now. Last night when I checked the marine forecast, it said it was going to be smooth out on the water. But that's the thing about Mother Nature and the weather. It can change like that in the instance. But I've adjusted. And so now, guys, I'm out at my first spot. I'm anchored off, so I'm not going nowhere. So I got a feeling this is going to be a great spot. All right, here we go. I'm going to throw the jig down there because I know as soon as I put it down there, I'm going to be on to some fish, guys. And they're going to be grouper. So here we go. Check this out. Let me show you guys. Check this out. They're going to be grouper. Here we go. All right, here we go, guys. I just had a bite. I'm on already, guys. I'm on. Oh, yeah, I told you I'd be on. I told you I'd be on. And that's the grouper. There we go. We're on, guys. A lot of activity on that monitor. All right. Get this hook out of his mouth here. All right. It's a good spot right here, guys. Here we go. It's going to be an all-day spot right here. All right, here we go. We're, we're down there. Don't take long. I can feel them hitting it already. Here we go. Ooh, he just hit it. Come on, there he goes. Come on. There we go. We're on. Oh, yeah, guys. We're on. I'm going to send some shrimp down there to keep them, keep them coming. There we go. I want that 20 incher. I'm going to get him. I'm going to go ahead and put some shrimp on there and uh, throw it down there. I'm going to throw this down there one more time. One more time, and then I'm going to put the shrimp on, and then uh, we're going to catch us some big grouper. We go. Oh, oh, he'll come back for it. There we go. He's on. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got off. Oh, my gosh. He was on. Ooh, ooh, wee. Guys, they're hungry. Oh, yeah, they're hungry, guys. That might be the 20 incher. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big boy. He's fighting. Let's see here. That's a big boy. Oh, yeah. 
That's a big boy. Oh yeah, guys. Let's see here. I don't think he's 20 inches, but look at that. Look at this, guys. That's what I'm after. This is what I'm after right here. This right here. He's not a 20 incher, but look at that. Oh yeah. All day, every day. He's a fatty. All right, see ya. There we go. We're on. Let's see what we got. These lay to be a snapper. What we got? Oh, he's running. What is that? Oh, it's a trigger fish. It's a trigger. Trigger on light tackle. <laughs> All right. This is a trigger. Oh, well, that's a big trigger. Let's see. He might be a keeper, guys. Let's see here. I think he might be. I think I might have a keeper. Let's see here. I might have a keeper. He's a big one. All right. Let's see here, Mr. Trigger. Let's see if you're keep keepable. All right. Let's see here. Let's measure you. He's 14 inches. I think they have to be, let me see, I think they have to be 15, but let me check. I might be wrong, guys. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Trigger fish. Okay, here we go. Golf. Oh. Trigger fish. Golf. Year round. Oh, they have to be tw uh, 14 inches. He's definitely 14 inches, that's for sure. He's about 14 and... Uh, yeah, he's definitely 14 inches. Nice size. Look at that, guys. He's definitely a keeper. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, this is my last shrimp right here, guys. Let's see if the big one will hit this one. This is it. And then I'll go to the brine bait. All right, come on now. There we go. Come on now. He's on. Oh, I thought he was on. I thought he was on, guys. I really thought he was on. I think they might have taken my bait. Let's see here. Yeah, they took my bait. That's all right. Now we're going to go to the brine bait. We're going to go to that brine bait now. So let me get the brine bait out. Now, here's the brine bait, guys. See, the date is on there. I caught this 428 of last year. This brine bait is still good. Good bait to use offshore. And a lot of bait schools are running right now, these uh, thread fins, out by the uh, Skyway and Fort DeSoto Pier. So go there one day, guys. Just pick the day and just go there and catch a lot of bait. Take it home. Get you some uh, kosher salt and baking soda and uh, fill a plastic bin up with that and dump these fish in there and let them sit for 48 hours. And then put them in a freezer, or vacuum seal them and then put them in a the freezer. There we go. He's on. Yeah, he's on. He's on. I knew he was on. I felt him take that. He's on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is, guys. Look at that. There he is. Another fire truck. Not big enough, though. Here we go. He's messing with it. I can feel him. Yeah, I think he got it in his mouth. Let's see. He got it. Oh, I thought he had it. There he is. Yep. There he is. That might be a trigger fish because he hit it on the drop. Let's see here. No, that's a gag. 
That is a gag, a junior gag, guys. A junior gag, look at that. A junior gag. All right. I know if you got these juniors down there, you got all these other ones down there hitting, I know for sure there are some big ass adults down there. I think I'm gonna stay in this spot for the rest of the day, guys, because it's just a little bit too choppy, but you know what? This spot has been pretty good. I'm hoping I'll get that big ass red grouper in this spot. There we go. Come on. I feel him toying with it. They're real sneaky right now. There we go. He's on. Come on. Yeah. Hell yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. I told you guys it's going to be non-stop rod bending action today, didn't I? And it is. Non-stop rod bending action. All right. Wow. What a great day, guys. It did not disappoint. I told you guys it's going to be a lot of rod bending action. And was I right? <laughs> it was non-stop action there for a little bit. But now the uh, wind has picked back up and you can see it's getting a little bit more... Uh, uh, rocky out here so I'm about to pull up anchor and head back to the dock I gotta have this boat back uh, by 715 so um, I've already started cleaning up but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed catching fish for you guys if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section uh, all I ask is that you keep it nice anyway guys that's all I have for you thanks for watching have a great week and I will see you in the next one peace